Hey Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make a shaker window card. Aren't they cute? We're using the back on your feet stamp set. I made this one using the draft. So let me show you what it looks like when you open up. So the shaker part of the window is on the front flap of the card and then the draft is the peekaboo part on the inside of the card. Isn't that cute? All right, and then this one, this is the one we're going to make today using the cute little turtle. And they're both images from the same stamp set, which I'll show you here in a minute. So this is, this card opened up. Adorable. All right, so let me show you the stamp set. Okay, so this is the back on your feet stamp set. It also has a sloth with the little broken arm there. So cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So here are the measurements. Let's start with the base. The granny apple green is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White and Early Espresso. These are both cut at four by five and a quarter. The Whisper White is for the inside part of the card. And then the Early Espresso is for the front. You need a piece of Window Sheet. And these are both cut at three and a half by three and a half. And then a piece of the Brights Designer Paper. And this is the six by six size. It's double sided. So this piece is cut at three and three quarter by five. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna adhere these two pieces together. Then we're gonna grab our big shot. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the layering circle dies and I'm using these two right here. This one's gonna actually cut the peekaboo window to show through the, the inside of the card and also make the window part of the shaker for the front of the card. So you're just going to position this however you want it on the front layer of your base card. Now I will say that making the draft card, let me show you that one again. So this one is a larger of the stitched rectangle dies. And just keep in mind that when you're using a larger die, you'll have less space to write a message. So you'll want to put another piece of Whisper White on the back side. Okay? So for this one, for the turtle one, you have enough space to either stamp another message and then also sign your name, but you could also put another piece of Whisper White on the back for that. All right, so I'm gonna go fairly high, but right there looks good. Okay, so there's our window. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our base of the card and we're going to layer the piece we just cut out with the window on top. And I'm gonna grab a pencil And I'm going to make a guide here right where we want to cut that same circle out, but it's going to be on the base of the card this time. Okay, so there's our base of our card. So now these two should line up perfectly. All right, so then what I did ahead of time is I took some early espresso cardstock. And I went ahead and cut out the scallop edge with the same circle. And I cut out a frame that's going to actually go over top of the front of the card once we put our shaker window together. Just like that. To just kind of finish off the card. You don't need to add the frame, but I always feel like that's a little detail that adds a little bit of a punch to the card. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the big shot. So the next step we're going to take is our Whisper White. And once again, we're going to layer this into the inside of the card because this is where we're going to stamp our turtle, making sure it's right where you want it. And then close the card. And then we're going to draw our circle. This is also going to be another guide to stamp our turtle. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our stamps now. I'm going to use the Memento ink. Okay, so we're going to take our turtle Using the Memento ink, we're going to stamp this right in the center of the circle. And then I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase the pencil line. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the stamp. Hope you're back on your feet soon. I'm going to stamp that right down here. That looks pretty good. You just want it away from the window when you're stamping it. All right, now I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna use the Granny Apple Green, the Combo, and then also the Crumb Cake and the Light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward the coloring.
Okay, so there's my cute little turtle. All right, so now let's go ahead and build our shaker window of our card. I have two pieces. So this piece is going to go on the back side of our early espresso. So let me go ahead and add some snail. Then this other window sheet is going to go on top of the granny apple green where we cut out that window here. Okay, so now we're going to use the foam adhesive strips and we're going to build up our shaker window. So we're going to go ahead and put this adhesive around the base of the, the card with the window. So one thing when you're making a shaker card, you want to make sure that all the gaps are sealed up. So there's no way for the little shaker inserts that you're going to put in here. For instance, we're using the sequins, the iridescent sequins. So we don't want any of these to fall out when the card is shaped. So you want to make sure that your whole window area is covered with adhesive and that there's no little spaces for those to escape. All right, and then on this piece of early espresso, we're gonna use more of the adhesive foam strips, and I'm just going to cover the edges of this layer. Because remember, this is gonna go over this, so let me give you a visual here. So we're gonna put our adhesive around the four edges, and then around the circle here is what the inside, what we just did with that foam sheet will adhere to the cover as well. All right, so once we got our adhesive backing off, we're gonna take our iridescent sequins. Look how pretty these are. Oh, are they beautiful? So sparkly. All right, so I'm gonna grab a few pinches of the sequins and put them right in the center of my window. I like a lot. Okay, then we're going to take our front part of our card. Now, without putting my head in the camera, hopefully I can get this centered. Hold on a second. I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully that's good. All right, now we're going to open up the card to see the shaker. Oh, I love it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put the inside part of the turtle inside. Making sure he lines up. <laughs> so cute. Who wouldn't love to get this cute little turtle when you're feeling down and you're maybe have a broken foot yourself or something? This would definitely cheer somebody up. All right, so, so let's go ahead and decorate the front with this frame. I'm just looking at it here to make sure I get the right side facing out, which I think this is. So there's our cute little frame. Now I'm going to stamp the word Psy. I bring in that stamp and the Memento ink again. I'm going to use the Whisper White and stamp that. This is going to go on the front. Oh, he's so sad. Then we're going to take the one inch circle punch, punch that out. Then I have the two scallop punches. This is the one and one eighth scallop circle punch. We're going to punch out the granny apple green with that. And then the one and three eighths scallop punch with the early espresso. I'm going to layer these together. Then we're going to grab a dimensional. Actually grab a mini dimensional. Depending on where you want to put your greeting over here. You can put it over here if you want. Just make sure you put your mini dimensional on the side where it's not going to show through from the window when you open up the card. So it's going to put it right there. Peel the backing off. I'm going to stick this right over here. Love, love, love the shaker card. This is just another version of a shaker card. Super easy. All right, so let me show you the other ones again. 
So here's the other turtle, same one that we made just a few minutes ago, and then here's the giraffe one. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll have all the items listed below, and then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.